Now, I have a little sister, she's 13 years old, she's in middle school, and she's having a hard time dealing with peer pressure. She's doing things that is not like her, and she is trying to be like what she calls the popular crowd. And so I wrote this poem to her and other children going through this, and I realized there's even adults that still go through this, so here we are. Beware of peer pressure. You know, I always really wanted to be thin, in a size zero, long hair, and perfect skin. I hated smiling because it brought out my puffy cheeks. I didn't buy nice clothes. I thought I was worth anything cheap. I wouldn't eat around anyone, so when they left, I would go sneak. I walked around half blind because my, ga my glasses made me look like a geek. I was pushed around because I felt like I had no place to stand. Living out popular girls as their secretary, hoping to at least get the second hand. I couldn't accept myself being contrary, wanting life to be like a fairy tale. I was depressed, distressed, mad, upset, feeling sorry for myself. You know all the rest. My mind so stuck on looking the best. Didn't study and I failed the test. Grade card letters start transforming from A's to F's, but I finally had popular friends, something I didn't regret. Deep down inside, I knew this kind of attention was wrong. My mama has taught me very well, morals and all. My mama has taught me to stand up to the world's expectations. Don't let them, let them trip me or fall. She told me no matter how short I was, to stand up and stand tall. Every once in a while, those words lingered in my ears. They traveled to my brain, but my self-esteem wouldn't let me hear. <coughs> Going back to the way I was is what brought me fear. I ignored the way my life was heading. I didn't let God see it. In the high summertime, hollering out I'm cold. Although deep down inside I was weak, I acted hella bold. Thinking I was fresh, but my swag is mold. My jewelry was silver, but it was supposed to be gold. I wanted to feel like I was pretty, so to me it had to be told. Man, it ain't supposed to be like that. If you hot stuff, you should just know. It took me to get put totally down to change my life around, a speaker in my ear so that I could hear the right sound. I had to finally realize what was found, because if not, my hopes and dreams were going six feet deep in the ground. Blunking classes, possibilities of not passing, getting put back in the same grade, your peers looking and laughing, under the influence of drugs and the hospital bed gasping. Pregnant at 15, saying bye to your baby, didn't carry you in the basket. At your own funeral, watching your mom and dad, watching your mom and dad crying over your casket. Yes, peer pressure can become that more dramatic. But here's a word of advice that can be used throughout all of your life. Not me, not her, not him, not them. On your life, you can only depend. Peer pressure is not a game. Falling for somebody else's stupidity, now that's what you call lame. You can only determine where your life is going to go. Lots of things are going to be said, but it's up to you whether to follow. Just once again, I'm going to stress. Millions are suffering from peer pressure today. Don't let it be you next. If there's someone not leading you right, you need to tell them, to the left, to the left. Thank you. <laughs>